Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangs, and I welcome you guys to the last chapter of this current patch of Staff of Ages. It is the finale of Arc 1, uh, Crown of Thorns, and I am so looking forward to this one. Had a little bit of a sneak peek on the map when I did the battle preparations off screen, and ho ho ho, it looks so good! Oh, Staff of Ages, you make me so hard. Also, I fucking love this right here. Um, I'm a big sucker for showing the enemy perspective of a final conflict. Um, Advanced Wars 2 did this quite a lot. With like Black Hole, you suddenly saw it from their perspective when the Allied forces came to siege them. I really fucking love this because it gives you another perspective to the conflict. Because the conflict, of course, always has two or more sides. And uh, yeah, I just, I just fucking love this. I suppose it's come to this. King Seneca, the rebels have breached the wall and are moving into the throne room. What of Sebastian? I ordered him to guard the entrance. We've lost contact with him, sir, and his guard has fallen. We can only assume the worst. I'm sorry, old friend, but we both knew the risks when we started. You've shown your dedication. It's my turn now. Your orders, your highness? Rally the guard, give every man who can fight a blade, and tell them to fight for the honor of Fortuita. The charge will be led by me. Hand me Kalandor. My rule should be enforced by the ruler's blade. Ye yes your highness. Ah, that's a fast fucker. Belay that order, soldier. Matteo, what's the meaning of this? King Seneca, with all due respect, all we've done will be for naught if you die. We must protect you at all costs. I insist you cannot leave the throne until we've wiped out the rebels. Allow me to lead the charge in your stead. The last royal, loyal general of true Fortuita. Your words ring true, Matteo. I am not so conceited to deny when my advices are correct. However, I have but one last request. Allow me to speak with the princess before we engage her. Perhaps, if we're lucky, I can talk her down. Very well. To me, godsman. And someone fetch Dahl. Yeah, good luck with that, Seneca. Crown princess, I'm glad you saved me the trouble of forcing you to come to the capital. Now, be so kind as to surrender. I don't think so. This will only end one way, and you chose that way when you killed my mother. You may not believe this, Bell, but I'm actually sorry about what had to happen. I didn't want to kill your mother, but I had no choice. I had to take the throne from her, or this castle would belong to Arindan by now, and the Staff of Ages with it. Liar! I do not want to kill you either, Bell. Fortuita has lost their queen, and you are the last of the royal bloodline. Losing the royal bloodline would be another terrible blow, but it is one that I am prepared to deal with to protect my country. Now, stand down, please. Is this some kind of sick joke? You killed my mother, and now you have the gall to claim pacifism? Pick up your sword. Oh, look at her. She's pissed. Oh, what, Belle? Will you kill me as I stand here because you disagree with me? What are you What are you doing now that is so different from what I did? What right, what right do you possess to depose your king? That's right. You think the king is unfit for rule, so you plan to kill him and replace him? Just as I did, Bell. Tell me, what is the difference between the two of us? You cannot be serious. Why don't you answer in her stead, Una? After all, you led her by the hand this far. I can only hope that one day you'll realize what a terrible nuisance that is. You mock me! Calm, Una. Seneca will get his just desserts. Desserts? Seneca, the difference between you and me is that you are nothing but a murderer and traitor to the crown. You depose the rightful ruler because of your misguided agenda, and because of your arrogance. I do not believe for a single moment that you had considered a course of action other than your own. I am doing what every citizen of Fortuita should. I am standing for what is right. You dare call me a traitor to the crown? The crown was a traitor to Fortuita! The queen's job is to protect her people, but if she cannot do that, she is not fit for rule. The duty of the queen may be to protect her people, but the duty of her people is to trust their queen. Trusts? Trust is earned through blood and sweat, of which your mother shed neither. You are wrong, Seneca. Do you know what trust is? Loyalty, honor, faith, courage. These are... these and all the more so. My companions and I only stand here today because they trust me. They believe that what I'm doing is right. They support me for it. I couldn't have said it better myself. I'm honored to be included within your group, Bell. Oh, are we doing the montage now? So, um, the only complaint I have about this particular scene is that I feel like it goes from deadly serious to way too cherry. This would work if you've kept 
if you keep the music, I think, but I don't know, have some... I, the music is too cherry, we need it to be more serious than this, because it went from BAM 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 BAM, I'm gonna kill you, BAM 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 BAM, send a guy you traitor, BAM BAM BAM, to Yay, we're gonna kill Seneca! Like, it, it, it just, you know, it goes from the, the, the swing in mood, or the shift in the mood just changes too rapidly and it feels awkward. Anyway, you've had my trust since you saved my village, Belle, and I've never been the less for it. There is only one choice to follow, and that's after you. Don't think we've let Seneca get away after being the treacherous snake that he is. We will not falter, Belle. Oh, hey, you're still here. I swear this upon my honor as a knight, and the sword and lance. And my axe! <laughs> I love how Elijah is just a, like a giant walking quote. My arrows fly true for you. My blade is yours. It's also an arrows, but I'll fight for you too. Friends are on one line you should never cross. I stand for the common man alongside Belle. Your men help rescue me, Belle. There's definitely honor among this team. You fought for my village. I'll fight for you as long as Valhari would want it. Or as Valhari would want it. Do not worry, princess. All will be well. Just let it go! I can't do that joke anymore. Do I even need to say it? Of course not, Una. You've been through everything with me. And I don't imagine I could have made it this far without you. Without any of you all. Friends, for one last time, we fight for Fortuita! Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So we can bring everyone for this mission. Um, I think you. I think I would have been able to bring 15 guys, but I've lost two, so... So yeah, this is the final battle of uh, Arc 1. Oh my fucking god, look at this majestic piece of fucking map design right here. Starts outside with a siege, then you go inside the castle. Look how fucking big this castle is. I fucking love it. Oh, it's so good! Anyway, let's talk. take a look at the final boss, Mr. Snack himself. Uh, Seneca, yes, the sword calendar. Good thing they gave him a 1-2 range sword. He really needed that. Um... The Usurper King of Fortuja, quick and hot to the ruler. I really like how he's just a sword master with his unique animation. I, d I always felt like some people in hacks go way too far out of, their, out of their way to make their villains interesting. Like making them like slayers or s death dealers or a massacre maker or something like that. Like you, can, you don't need to give your villain oops, sorry, a unique class. I just had pizza. Y you can just like make them a sword master. Just, it's okay. You can make them interesting via their design and personality, not instead of their class. I'm, I'm sorry for taking a jab at the last promise, but it was notorious for doing that. Reaper Knight, Gold General, Slayer Killer, Sword Dealer, like, every single enemy had to have, like, a super special uh, class. Anyway, uh, enough about that. So, uh, again, Seneca doesn't really seem all that threatening to me, but... We gotta take into consideration that the fucker's on a throne and he has a 15 might 1 2 range sword. He is also a sword master, so he has a 26% innate critical chance. Uh, but we have the Hoplon Guard, so whoever we send at Seneca can just equip the Hoplon Guard and he'll be pretty safe. I don't think anyone in my army doubles Seneca, and he might actually double some of my soldiers, so. And I don't think I have any sword reavers or anything like that, so. That's gonna be interesting. I think I think Staff of Ages intentionally do not give you any like anti-sword weapons to make it a little bit um to make it a little bit easier or harder to fight Seneca. Are you kidding me? The rebels got through Sebastian? This is worse than I thought. Doll, oh, it's about time you joined the fray. The princess is right here within our grasp. Matt, you got to be kidding! Both Fallon and Sebastian fell to the cabal. We can't win here. Ha! And even if we couldn't, we'd still fight anyway. Why exactly would we fight anyway? Have you forgotten, man? We joined Seneca to build a stronger fortuita. A strong man doesn't bend or break when pressured. He stands firm for his belief. I stood firm behind Seneca when he chose his path, and I stand firm for him. I think he should say... I, just a slight change to that dialogue, by the way. He should say, I stood firm for Seneca when he blah 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 for fortuita. And he should say, and I stand firm for him now. That, that, would, that, that would ring better in my ears. I stand better for him now. Or I, yeah, I stand firm for him now. Live or die. I'm g I'll gladly give my life for his majesty. Would you? Uh, yes, well, of course I would. Good, get to your post. <laughs> I love how different they are in terms of their loyalty. Dahl is just a fucking... 
corrupt nobleman who just wants power and 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 um mr other general dude is like i am brave and loyal great just great why the idealist have to be the one the last one standing i don't want to make an enemy of him too what with the princess wanting me dead as well i've got no choice but to fight oh uh bell what is it my friends nero's in here remember and stark's sister sophia wait maybe you should mention all about your quest to find him again for the fifth time Sawyer, this isn't the time for jokes. Grace, they're probably be being held in the cells on the west side of the keep. They'll probably want to sit this one out, though. They've been locked up for weeks. Maybe. But I'm sure if they got the proper encouragement from the right people, they'd be fighting fit in no time. Alright. We got some new music. So, uh, we probably want to check out the green units. Uh, we got Nero right here. Um, this guy is insane. Look at him. He has a fucking base strength of 15 and a base con of 12. This guy is immense. He can use iron blades without speed penalty. Fucking love this guy. Absolutely insane. Then we got, uh, I should probably read his description. A Fortuitan city guard, honorable and devoted to keeping Fortuita safe. And then we got this hot chick, Sophia, Stark's once missing sister, dedicated and kind but slightly abrasive. This girl is cute as oh fuck. Look at her, I fucking adore her. Really good base stats on her as well. And we don't have a Myrmidon yet, so that's, uh... Mm. That's interesting, although her con is shit. Uh, she can, like, use iron swords, and that's it. We also got some mini-bosses right here. We got Matteo, an honorable for Twitch in general, who believes in Seneca, dreams of military rule, has a fucking brave axe on a Tomahawk. Pretty scary base stats on him as well. 16 base defense. And you got this guy, Dahl, the steward of a Blackwood Fortuitan province, a scheming opportunist. Spear and Brave Lance. I don't feel like the Brave Lance suits him. I think he should have something else. I don't know. He's, he doesn't strike- like, Matteo having a Brave Axe makes perfect sense, because he's like brave. He's like a brave general. But Dahl having a Brave Lance does not make a lot of sense to me. Anyway. So it's time to start, and uh, I've already decided how I'm going to do this first part. going to move um, Mr. Charles over here with his halberd. And I'm going to move Mr. Darius over here with his worm slayer. There we go. And again, I'm going to try to be as effective as I can during enemy phase. So uh, there will be a little bit of lag in this map, I've been informed. I um, kind of sucks, but that's just the way it will go. Um, let's see, so all of these enemies are placed in such a way that it's almost impossible for me, uh, it's almost impossible for me not to take more than one hit from any given person. But yeah, I don't know why there's lag, I think, I think it's something to do with the coding, but I, I, I don't really know. Anyway, um, let's see, I think we can safely bring Owen up here with his Belial. You can also place uh, uh, Sawyer right here in the forest. We also got to make we we really have to make sure that we kill all those wyverns. They're gonna it's gonna be really important for us to do so. I also like how the music doesn't change between the enemy face. Kind of makes it seem a little bit more serious, you know. So the enemies in this map seem a lot stronger. The entire map, in general, seems a lot more dangerous than anything we faced previously. So, if I place Grace correctly right now, she shouldn't be attacked by anyone else. And also, Darius will fucking tear shit up. I gotta say, Darius is such an enjoyable character to use. I'm not sure why, but just a Sword Armor Knight is such a cool concept. I mean, it's not like it's a- oh my god, <laughs> he levels up awesomely again! It's not like it's a new concept, I mean, Armor Knights in Fire Emblem 1 had swords. Um, I don't know why, it just- it feels better to have a sword-wielding Armor Knight than a lance-wielding Armor Knight. And I think it's because, um, the, I think the reason behind that has something to do with the fact that this, the, har the hardest-hitting enemies are usually axe users. Uh, fighters, brigands, and in this hack, you got the Vyverns. And having a armored unit capable of dealing with those guys is actually immensely useful, I find. 
and the least hard-hitting units in the game, aka sword users. I mean, you don't really need a weapon triangle against them anyway. I mean, Armor Knights own mercenaries and Myrmidons regardless. It's not like they need the lance, so I don't know. Maybe it's just because Darius has really good stats, I don't know. But uh, anyway, Charles is fucking tearing through these guys, I fucking love it. So yeah, Charles with his hammer, I think, is going to be very, very useful in bringing down the, um, the fucking general miniboss. He seems scary. I might want to consider stealing his elixir. So yeah, I, I really, really love how this map opens up in its first phase. Like, you gotta be really effective. Now, there's a lot of uh, uh, troubadours over there. And I think what we'll, we'll do, actually is we will let Owen take him on with his Belial. If I can move Owen up like in this forest perhaps, or maybe I can just move him up like this. Um, or maybe even better if I use Sawyer to kill this guy. I think that's what I'll do. Now they have light magic, uh, which means that Sawyer will weapon triangle them if they go for him. But I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna see because all of these guys are wielding shine tomes. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they are. They only do 12 damage though. Owen has. I mean, he has a pure water. So they'll do what? They'll do six damage to him, and they won't double him. I'm fairly certain. No, they will not. Actually, will they? Not if he uses his Belial. Yeah, he'll be fine. We we do have this guy with an all fire tome. Who deals 18 damage. Hmm. I feel like Owen sh I mean, I need to kill this fighter. Yeah, this fighter needs to die. That's actually really important. Hmm. I mean, I could kill this guy with Grace and then rescue her. I think that's what I'll do, actually. Yeah, this is what I'll do. So, I need to stay away from the axe users. That's really important. So, I'm gonna move Owen over here. I'm gonna equip the Belial, and I'm gonna use the Pure Water. There we go. Then I'm going to kill this guy, and rescue him away with Bell. Or, yeah, rescue Grace away with Bell, so Grace doesn't get owned by the uh, Troubadours. And since there's only magic users in range of uh, Owen right now, and he has a Pure Water, he's not really gonna take any damage anyway. There we go. So now I just need to deal with these guys, and I should be fine. I mean, they might go for Sawyer, that's true. I mean, what I can do, though, is I can... Oh, he doesn't have his Nimbus anymore. But at least I can equip his Thunder. There we go. And I can take out... Let's see. Uh, none of these guys can attack this corner, so we can actually use Marcus to kill this guy. There we go. So one of them might go for Sawyer, but that's fine. He can handle himself. But most of them will go for Owen, and they will die. Ah, oh, nice. Skill and defense. I always like it when my thieves get a little bit of bulk. We'll kill this guy with Charles. Charles is so fucking good. He is amazing. Yeah. I wonder what Charles promotes into. It better be Great Knight. I mean, the Great Knight is in the game, so it makes perfect sense to have that be what he promotes into. Let's see. The Steel Bow should be able to make short work of these guys, but it doesn't. Stark, what the fuck? What the fuck? Well, I guess Stark can kill the Vyvern, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Stark had like one more point of strength, he could have killed them. Da -da 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 ball. Anyway, I'm excited to see how this enemy phase will go. Hope it's gonna go well. Anyway, now it should be possible for us to bring this fucker down. If we can hit, which I hope we will. There we go. And then we can give the kill to someone who needs it, like Axel maybe, if he can if he can even hit speed. Eh. Let's see, Axel. Uh 
I mean, we can try to throw a javelin at the guy, I suppose. But that did not work. I didn't want him to take 20 damage to the face. Mm, Elijah, then? Ah! Holy shit, that's not good. Alright, come on now. There you go. Yeah, Elijah a little slow, but I haven't really, like, used him at all, so... It's not really that strange. Alright, and we can heal Grace. I wonder where this music is from. Someone knows, post it in the comments. I wanna I wanna know. I know they take a lot of their music from Castlevania. Hit point skill speed. Oh awesome. Alright, let's go on. Oh, there was a mer Oh shit. Okay, I think we're fine. I think we're fine, because I don't think Owen's gonna take any damage from the other guys, but I Oh, wait a minute. He's in range of the Wyvern miniboss, isn't he? No! Shit. This most certainly wasn't supposed to happen. Die, all of you. I oh! <laughs> Owen! Oh my god, he crits. Drats, everything's backfire. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I didn't check the range of the fucking Dragon Lord boss. Magic speed. And he fucking crits. Okay, he better survive now. Okay, this guy goes for Sawyer. Not very not very surprising, really. Too bad he doesn't have his Nimbus anymore. Duh. Is that the first time we see Owen crits? I think so. I actually think that's the first time we see Owen crits. Yeah, he's he's gonna one-shot these guys. Lovely. Oh my! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is happening? Owen's oh, going fucking ballistics. It's amazing. Oh my god, this is absolutely fucking hilarious. I love it. And yeah, Sawyer just casually one running troubadours because that's what he does. Alright, who's next? Okay, they they all went for Sawyer. I mean, not very surprising at all, really. Alright, so we cleaned up most of the enemies right now, and now we can proceed to the gate. Fucking hell, I can't believe we killed the miniboss. That was insane. <laughs> that was absolutely fucking insane. I love it. Love it. Okay. Whew. Alright, let's proceed. Uh, I, I'm mostly bringing Elijah as fodder, to be quite honest. I do not really intend to use him at all. I just brought him because I could, really. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, we don't, we don't actually need to kill this guy with Charles. But Lily doesn't have the power to break him down either, so... Ah, suppose we'll do it anyway. It's fine. I mean, we love Charles, and Charles is going to be the one responsible for taking down the general, so might as well give him some experience in preparation for that. Hit points and strength. Oh my god, he's, he's probably just going to kill him in one shot, isn't he? Alright, uh, let's heal up. Ra -ba -ba -ba. Da -da -da -da. Alright, so we don't want to lead the charge with Owen into fighters. That That's a given, so... I think Owen's gonna be allowed to uh, take a step back and relax. And let someone else bear her this charge, like Grace. Alright, I didn't see that this guy was in range. Never mind, Harold, Harold dodges like he usually does. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, a dragon axe. Interesting. Well, too bad Sawyer is no dragon. Or is he? Bum bum bum. So I, I do hope that some more events will take place. And by that I mean, like, I feel like this is a map 
that definitely should have some events. So I hope that it's not just a slow crawl to the throne, killing whatever enemies are within range. I hope some reinforcements show up, I hope, hope some sort of captain shows up. I just hope that something is gonna go down. Anyway, I'm gonna move Darius up here. Let's just use an Iron Sword, this guy is so low anyway. Because this, these first few turns have been action-packed as all fucked, and shit has gone down, and it's been really exciting. Um, so I hope that's not all there is to this, if you get my drift. There, I hope there's something more going on here. Oh, would you look at that? I really, really do not want to use my Belial Comb. I want to save it. Also, there's a bishop over here. So we most definitely do not want to engage. Oh, he has a Sword Reaver. Oh, he has a Sword Reaver. Ah, oh, that means we can just throw a Javelin at the fucker then. I hope uh, Staff of Aegis makes it so that... I mean, there should be an exclamation mark above this guy's head, I feel. Or maybe not, I don't know, maybe there shouldn't be. Maybe Reaver weapons do not count, I don't know. WAM! Pew, pew, boo -doo -doo -doo. All right, we can let Marcus get some easy experience on this guy. And yeah, I, I think we're definitely gonna attempt to steal the elixir from the miniboss. Make him attack someone with his Tumahawk, steal the elixir, and then... And then kill him with Charles wielding a hammer or something. Sounds like a plan. Alright, so we can safely put Bell right here. Probably want to change around to an iron, or to a... yeah, to an iron lance. Then we can move Stark up here if he equips a short bow. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. And we can heal everyone up and then let us proceed into the keep. Because now we have like a couple of slow, really slow rounds right here where like really nothing is happening. We're just entering the castle. So I feel like there should maybe be some reinforcements from the back or something to put the pressure on. Oh, hello. Well, my healer can fight, so joke's on you. <laughs> Alright, so you probably want to lure the bishop out next. Um, he has a Shine Tome, so... I'm saying we just let Sawyer spearhead this charge, really. Then we can pick up... Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up Darius. To get him a little bit further into the frame. I'm sure someone... yeah. Oh, wow. These guys actually do not have the con to rescue Darius. That's, that's hilarious. Ba, 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 ba. Ra, ba, ba, ba. Da, 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 da. All right, come at me, Bishop. Come at me. Show me what you got. Oh, fuck. Always fucking up on something. There's a hero there as well. That's gonna be interesting. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what- that's what I'm fucking talk- Oh, what is that a Duke Knight? A Silver Knight. Mounted Knights who have chosen to wield bows. Equip- Oh, what? Okay, that's- that's amazing. Thank you, Staff of Ages. I was like, I hope something happens. Now that is reinforcements done right. Now, I think they have to do this because there is a unit limit of how many units they can have on the map at any given time. So that's why they have to do this. This is fantastic. I love this so much. Does this guy have an axe? He does. I still think that Darius is... Who yeah, you can see it's actually lagging now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually fucking lagging. That's hilarious. But yeah, I was like... It would be too easy if the enemies I see right now are the only enemies, so yeah, that's perfect. So keep piling on the pressure. This is an endgame map, it's completely acceptable to pile on reinforcements on an endgame map. Magic speed resistance, Sawyer is about to camp fucking uh, speed, guys. It's amazing. Wow, it is lagging so badly right now. <laughs> Holy shit, look at this lag. Oh my god. Anyway, I think we can, um... I don't think... I mean, we can try to kill this guy, I suppose, with a worm, but... 
the weapon triangle as well. Okay, never mind. Got him. Bop 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 bop. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. All right. So will these guys charge us? I sure hope they will. Yeah, they are for sure. Oh, what is that? Do you guys see that? What? 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 What is that? Oh, what a Lansknecht! An ancient mercenary with a variety. Oh my god, that is that is badass. A fucking. I mean, you don't know what the Lansknechts are. They are they're German mercenaries, really. Amazing band of mercenaries. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That is so cool. I love it. Anyway. We're going to let Darius deal with this hero before we uh, before we end this part. It's probably going to be a tree parter. I'm gonna be honest. Prob oh, wow. He still goes for his axe, even though Darius is wielding a sword. Interesting. Yeah, I knew he was gonna get doubled, but I also don't care, because Darius can take, like... I don't know, four more of those hits before he goes down. I also hope there's a timer on rescuing these guys. That would be kind of nice. That would actually be really cool. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be making a cut here and continue in the next part. We're uh, gonna keep sieging this castle. I'm so looking forward to fighting all of these guys, including Seneca. It's gonna be great. Oh, also, yeah, I'm not sure if I showed you this guy. Um, they added hexing rods. Yep, they hacked in the hexing rod. So, I don't... Yeah, there we go. It's strange that he hasn't used it yet. Because this guy has a lot of magic. Yeah, it has 10 rain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, yeah, I can probably bait it out on, like, a weak unit, like Stark or something. Probably a good idea, I think. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be leaving now. Please give a like and a comment if you enjoyed this part. Let me know what you think about this chapter. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!